For this demonstration, we will be using the following items. A granular high swelling sticky clay, two beakers of standard tap water, and 10 cc of the liquid polymer Setco Acubus. We will begin the demonstration by using the metal spoon which represents the drill stem and cutting head to mix in the clay. As soon as the clay comes in contact with the drilling fluid, or in this case water, it begins to instantly react and swell. You will notice how the sticky clay clings to the drill rod and cutting head. This phenomenon is known as bit balling. Swelling clays create greater torque on the drill stem which ultimately can lead to excess equipment wear and or failure. We can easily overcome problems like sticky clays by adding Setco Acubus to our drilling fluid. Acubus can be used in both water and bentonite slurries. The long polymer chains of Setco Acubus coat clays and prevent them from absorbing water. On a molecular level, we can describe what we see in terms of attraction. In this case, Setco Acubus has a greater attraction to water than clay does. Therefore, the clay does not hydrate and stick to the drill stem. You can clearly see this principle when the drilling tool is removed. Notice the lack of clay sticking to the spoon. Now let's compare the two side by side. The beaker on the right has significantly greater bit balling than the one on the left, which ultimately increases the chance of failure. The beaker on the left, containing Setco Acubus, has successfully solved the problem of sticky clays. For help with your next project, visit setco.com forward slash DPG, where you will find detailed product information and our handy product usage calculators.